Hi. Now, in this next part, part D, we've got to find the three significant figures, the median of x. And you'll notice I've updated the values of a and b that we found in part C. a is 1 tenth, b is equal to 1 25th. So if part D is something you'd like to uh, try, if you haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video, come back when ready, and you can check your work solution with mine. OK, welcome back. So how do we get the median of x? Well, what we would expect is that the probability of our random variable x being less than the medium, which I'm going to call m, that probability is going to be equal to a half. It would be true, obviously, if you said the probability of x being greater than m would be equal to a half. It's up to you which way you go. But I'm just going to work with less than. And that would mean that, therefore, you've got, let's just put the half on the left-hand side. You've got a half would equal, and if you're working out a probability, it's the integral of f of x with respect to x going between the limits. The lower limit would be naught and the upper limit would be our median m. So f of x is a plus bx. So if we substitute this in here, we know what a is. It's 1 tenth. And then we've got plus bx. And b was 1 25th. So bx there. And we're integrating this with respect to x. So if we do integrate that, what are we going to get? Well, let's just see. We've got our half here, so therefore a half equals, and the integral of one tenth is going to be one tenth x, and then the integral of one twenty fifth x is going to be, well, we're going to add one to the power, so it's going to be x squared over two, and multiply it with the twenty five, and you've got x squared over fifty. All right, and we've got our limits, okay, going between, let's just square that off, our limits going between naught and m. So we substitute m in, okay, first of all, what's that going to give us? It's going to give us a tenth m or m over 10, and then substitute m into here, we've got m squared over 50 m squared over 50, and then we would just subtract what we get when we put 0 through. Well, that's going to be 0, so we'll just put that as minus 0 at this stage. Well, I'm going to get the, rid of these fractions here, the 2, the 10, and the 50, so I'm going to just multiply through both sides by 50. If we do that, we've got half of 50, which is 25, and then m over 10 times 50, a tenth of 50 is going to be 5, so you get 5m and then multiply this term by 50, just leaves us with m squared. So we've got a quadratic equation here, and uh, like all quadratic equations, we need to rearrange it, make it equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract 25 from both sides. So we therefore have m squared plus 5m minus the 25 equals 0. Now it says find the value of the median to three significant figures, so I doubt whether this is going to factorise. It looks like we're going to need to use the quadratic formula. So m would equal, and our a value is 1, b is 5, and c is minus 25. So according to the quadratic formula, it's going to be minus b, so that would be minus 5, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so we've got 5 squared minus 4 times a, a being 1, times c, which is going to be minus 25. And that's all divided by 2a. So it's just going to be 2 times 1, which is 2. Now if you work this out on your calculator, what you should find is you're going to get two values for m. If we take the positive value here, you find you get... 3.0901 and so on. And if you take the negative value, you end up with minus 8.09 and so on. 
So which one of these two values do we take for n? Well, the question is that x has to lie between 0 and 5. So clearly, it's got to be the 3.0901. So to three significant figures, we've got therefore m equals 3.09 to 3sf. Okay?